Gambling activates the brain's reward system in almost the same way a drug does. That's why it's so easy for teens to become addicted. When we are talking about drugs and alcohol, to just include the word gambling. Within the last few years, younger and younger teens have been reported to have gambling addictions. Younger and younger demographic of people are calling the Connecticut Helpline. Kids are gambling indirectly at such a young age to begin with, whether it's um, taking part in raffles or trading cards with bonus packs or Super Bowl pools. I kind of like the adrenaline, like the rush. It makes me more like entertained in the game. People lose a lot. They lose, you know, time from work, time with friends. So I'm not like spending huge amounts of money, but winning a little bit of cash here and there it doesn't really hurt. The App Store makes it so easy for teens to gamble. All you have to do is look up gambling and hundreds of free games come up. Days um, in November, I know Connecticut just legalized online gambling. So it's easy for a kid to pick up a phone, um, download an app, put in some incorrect information. This is not a risk-free activity, that any one of us is vulnerable to it. While it may be fun, it can easily turn into an addiction. Just like teens should say no to drugs and alcohol, they should also say no to underage gambling. This is Casey Schultz from Carmel High, reporting for Fox 61 Student News.